wameinuliwa katika enzi yako. Katika maisha yetu tumeinuliwa. Katika maisha yetu Bwana ni wewe. Hakuna mwingine kama wewe Baba. Yes. Wewe unatoka yote. Tunakupa shukurani na Bwana tunasema ni asante. Tumekaa mbinguni mwako jioni njema Bwana. Roho mtakatifu tukualika mahali hapa. Nena nasi kwa sababu unatupenda. Ni asante kwa vile unatujali. Hakuna kama wewe Mungu wetu. Katika jina la Yesu tumeamini. So there is that place. Kuna huo wema wa Bwana ambao unatuleta ambao umeenda nasi. So we have a reason to thank God na kumwambia ni asati kwa yale yote ambayo ametenda. Bwana asifiwe. Tunaweza kuwa hatuko mahali tulikuwa tunataka ama mambo ile imefanyika sio ile tulikuwa tunapenda. Lakini Mungu ni mwaminifu. We are not where we are. Bwana asifiwe. Na tena tuko uhai siku ya leo is a big reason to tell God thank you. Amen. So siku ya leo nimeokoka Yesu ni Bwana na endelea na safari ya binguni. Na furahi kwa sababu jina langu liko binguni. That's a reason to thank God for. And then amenipatia neema ya kufanya kazi yake wakati huu katika dunia. Amen. So kwa maana maisha yetu sio marefu sana. Kwa maana tuko na uhai mwingine mko na maisha mengine. So we have another life. Today tunaendelea kuangalia the anointing and the presence of God kuepo kwa Mungu and how God is in our lives na vile Mungu ako katika maisha yetu so today i want to share with you who has the presence of God tuliangalia wakati ule mwingine tulikuwa hapa watu ambao walikuwa na anointing na wako na uwepo wa Mungu there were people like Samson ambao uh, anointing ni main kwao lakini the presence had gone mtu kama Saul the king alikuwa mfano ambao alijua mafuta lakini Mungu wako pamoja na yeye so tukaona ni ni is possible uwe hauna the presence but you have the anointing na siku ya leo ningetaka tu share na wewe ni akina nani hao ambao wanakuwa na the presence of the lord na hiyo ni ni kama swali tunajiuliza siku ya leo. Bwana asifiwe sana. Kitu ya leo ambayo ningetaka kukuuliza. Je, mtu akikuandikia barua ama akupatie akutume mahali. Tuseme amekutuma na amekutuma uh, Mobasa. Akupatie map. Akwambie hii ndio safari nataka uende. Uende kama Mobasani, uingie pale mali fulani ufanye jambo hili na hili and this is where you shall be na huyo mtu akwambie but you have a choice nikupatie simu hii simu wewe mwenyewe unanipigia na tuwe tunaongea na wewe ni ungetaka kwenda na nini ungetaka kwenda na ma ambayo inakuonyesha mahali amekutuma uende ukafanye kazi anga wewe ungetaka simu bwana asifiwe. Ni nini mzuri? Ni mapu ya mahali unaenda ama ni simu? Watu wakati wametaka map ili waende wafanye kazi ambao wamepatiwa. My my son here would like to have a map. Nani mwingine anataka map? How many 
people would like to have the map. Ya mahali wanaenda. Another Sunday would be like a map. Ni watu wakatu wagetaka simu. Wawa wanaongea na yuri ya mewatuma. Nilikono tunainua. Amen. Sio sio mtiani wacha kuogopa. Nauliza how many people ni watu wakatu wakitaka map ili wajue kule wanaenda na mahali wametumwa na wanajua vile wanafanya so watu wangapi chukua mkono juu watu wangapi wakitaka simu thank you kwa nini ukitaka simu ya mama Vicky anasema angetaka simu ili wao wanaongea na yule amemtuma mimi ninasema hivi map ni mzuri but sim ni beta. Kwa sababu ukiwa jiani, ukipotea jia, ukiwa na ma, hawezi uiriza. Na nikiwa nwa kwa manda ato yama huko. Kwa sababu hawajui ni gani. Wale mbao hakuchukua mikono hao, wako wabaya, kukikuwa wale wanisema ma, na wale wanisema sim. Haa, wale umechabua sim. So simu utamuliza ni nini unataka nifanye? Simu inaonyesha mtakaa mkiongea. Simu inaonyesha mtakuwa na uhusiano na yeye. Simu inaonyesha atakuwa karibu na wewe. Lakini ma unachukua na unasema bye. Watu wengi ndivyo wamefanya katika ukwaji wa Mungu. Wamechukua ma ya bikuli. Wamesema hatutakati Mungu hata hatutaki kuongea na yeye tunataka kutembea na ye na ma lakini leo ninataka nikuhimize afadhali uhusiano wako na yeye afadhali kuongea na yeye na kukaa karibu na yeye bwana asifiwe in the book of act 4:13 now when they beheld the boldness of peter and john and had perceived that they were unlearned And ignorant men, they marveled and they took knowledge of them that they had been with Jesus. Basi walipoona ujasiri wa Petro na Yohana na kuajua ya kuwa ni watu Where is the price this thing? Wasio kuwa na elimu Wasio na maalipa wakastajabu wakawatabue waka ya kwamba walikuwa pamoja na Yesu. Bwana asifiwe. Haleluya. Petro na Johana waliachwa na Yesu na kuanza kufanya kazi. Lakini ikafika mahali wakainukiwa sana na Wayahudi. Na wakawaita wakasimama mbele yao. Wakaanza kuwauliza maswali. Lakini maandiko inasema walipowaona vile wako na ujasiri na vile wanaongea na vile wananena neno wakaona vile wako bold wakajua kitu moja hawa watu hawajasoma ama ni mimi nasoma hivyo Number two, they are ignorant men and they are unlearned Hawana masomo kubwa. Hawana degree kubwa. Hawana magoma kubwa. Wakajua ni kitu moja tu walikuwa na Yesu. So they recognized that they had the presence of Jesus around them. Bwana asifiwe. Wakajua kile kimebadilisha hawa watu. Sio kwa sababu walikuwa shule. Sio kwa sababu walikuwa na manyumba sio kwamba wanajua mambo mengi sio kampeni ile wambadilisha lakini ile kitu imefanya hawa watu wawe na ujasiri na wajue mambo mengi ni kwa sababu walikuwa na Kristo the presence of Jesus had changed these people bwana asifiwe the presence of Jesus had changed these people 
ilikuwa imebadilisha hawa watu na ilikuwa imebadilisha maisha yao so who has the presence ni akina nani wanakuanga na uwepo wa Kristo act for a good verse 12 verse 12 inasema nini kuna maneno walikuwa wamenena and in no other is there salvation for neither is there any other name under heaven that is given among men which we must be saved kuna maneno walikuwa wanaongea ndio wanajulikana walikuwa na Yesu. Biblia inasema wala hakuna wokovu katika mwingine awaye yote. Kwa maana hapana jina jingine chini ya bingu waliopewa wanadamu. Ipasalo sisi kuwaokoa kuwaokolewa nao. Hii ndio maneno ambayo walinena mpaka wayahudi wakasema walikuwa na Kristo. So number one, wale watu ambao wanakuwa na the presence of God is the, ni wale watu ambao those who preach about Jesus and those who preach about salvation. Wale watu wote ambao wanaenda kuhusu wokovu na wanaenda kuhusu Yesu, they carry the presence of God. Mahali popote kuna ubiria wa wokovu Mahali popote kuna ubiri wa Yesu pale kuna the presence of God Mahali popote ambapo haku hakuubiriwi Yesu na watu waogai kuhusu Jesus and salvation there is no presence Walinena wakawaambia watu hakuna wokovu pale pengine na hakuna mtu mwingine na wokovu ni jina la Yesu tu linaokoa wakawaambia ni Yesu tu ambaye anaokoa hiyo maneno ikafanya wale waliwasikiza waseme basi hao watu wanaongea hivyo kwa maana walikuwa na Yesu so anybody with the presence of Jesus ni yule ambaye anaongea salvation in Jesus mighty name pale popote kuna sheria of salvation hado ndo marika gele lio mahonoke hado ndo marika gele lio mamukere kristo hapo mahali kuna presence of god mahali unasikia kwa watu wakiitwa waogoke mahali unasikia watu wakitoa ushuhuda wanasema mimi nimeokoka whenever there is preaching of salvation there is the presence of god so inaonyesha nini watu wameachana na mungu na inaonyesha namna gani watu wameachana na wana presence kukosa kuongea kuhusu wokovu kukosa kuongea kuhusu kuhusu jina la Yesu so do you want to have the presence preach about Jesus do you want to have a uh, presence ya Mungu preach salvation share Jesus mali popote unaenda unaongea kuhusu Yesu ni kuna kuanga na uwepo wake So from today may you become a preacher of salvation so that you can have the presence of God na wanahubiri neno na wanahubiri wokovu watu wamekuwa wakihubiri mambo mengi sijui kama umekuwa kama mimi ukisikiza hata mambo ambayo yanahubiriwa you wonder what is this kwani tumerudi shule kwani shule imekuwa business school but i thank god for this altar we preach salvation and we preach jesus no wonder we have the presence of the lord receive the grace to preach jesus so that you can enjoy the presence okay and then akubiri yesu ndio uwe na yeye mahali uendapo in the mighty name of jesus christ 
Watu wanaangalia ndani yako na Mungu. Number 2. Those who have the presence of God. Number 2. Those who stay in fellowship for a long time. Wale ambao wanakaa katika ushirika kwa muda mrefu. Those who stay in fellowship for a long time. Who is your hope, Ajana? Na ukai kanisa miezi miwili na unataka kuwa na presence. No. Lazima ukai pale kwa muda mrefu. Amen. Tumehubiri miaka kumi. Hapa tumehubiri kumi. Na saa hivi nimeona kuyeyuka. This is the time I can see breakthrough. After 10 years, ya kurudia kitu moja kwenye mgini. The same people. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> saa hivi nimeona watu wanaanda kuyeyuka kiloa. Hata mimi kuna mambo mengine nime enjoy after 10 years. 10 years ni ya kubili hapa. Mimi ni diaza kubili. Kwa bilo ni ubili kusulika, ni ubili kanisani, ni diaza kubili 1994. I can remember very well. 1994. Kwa bilo mimi kiyo niko na service. Sande watu wana kutana. Hata kabla zija. I started in 1994 kubili kwa ushika. Kubiria wa mama 1994. Mwana asipiri. So that is 28 years. Mwana asipiri. Na wama uliopo kajana na unataka, unataka kuwabea wa biwebe. Haie dagi hivo. Kutakaka. Presence ya mungu ni kulikana na vile mungu wameka. Umewani kudua bibi na mwana. Wakika vya kamingi. Wanafanana. I don't know why. Isipokuwa mimi na bibi ya. <laughs> Hallelujah. Sisi ni, ni dunia na biku. Kwa sababu ya uwe upe. <laughs> Lakini most of the time. Watu wakio wana wakikawa ni kada. Unasikia huyu wakio gea ni kama huyu wanaogea. Huyu wakienda, huyu wakuche. Vile huyu wanisema, kiyo huyu wanasema. Na unalialize wana smile the same. We are going to be all the same. It's because of the presence. Kuka pa moja kunisha. Bona asifiri. Do you want to carry the presence of the Lord? You must remain in salvation for a long time. Lazima ukai tika wakovu siku mingi. Sio kuingia ukitoka. Sahi watu wako kwa siyasa wame withdraw. Jesus and Tando. But those who have been there for a long time. What about when they put a part of them live? Oh, they carry the presence. In the book of Act 1, read Act 1, verse 21. Those who have been in fellowship for a long time. Act 1, verse number 21. Tunatafuta watu wabawa wataka. Sio watu wanakuja wa kiyama. You cannot carry the Sazikine huko, sazikine ya huko. Na watu wa mafili na wawezi kare the presence. <laughs> Act 1, 21. Wherefore of this man, which have accompanied with us all the time, that Jesus went in and out among us. Beginning from the baptism of John, and the same day, that he was taken up from us, must one be ordained. We are to be a witness with us of his resurrection. Judas and Pokufa, walikuwa natafuta mtu. Nataka basu. Walikuwa natafuta mtu. Ambaya ka repress Jesus. Katika ministry ya Yesu. Na angalia vile wanasema in verse 21. Wanasema tunataka mtu ambaye amekuwa nasi na ameona mambo ile mambo yote ambayo imetetedeka one of men therefore that has accompanied us all the 
Bretagne. Mungu ambaye amekuwa nasi. Tukiwa mwanaekeo tuki tukihubiri. Mtu ambaye tumeenda moyo na tumehubiri. Mtu ambaye tumeenda na yeye dola. Kuna mali kutoa dola. Mtu ambaye tumeenda na yeye chui. Mtu ambaye tumeenda na yeye kilima bomo. Mtu ambaye tumeenda na yeye wili na tukafuka. Na hapotea tukafukua na yeye na tukifuka tu kumwambia bado hapo tu haulizi maswali mtu ambaye tumeenda geshani tumehubiri isif grace ngiza zimeke ni kukaa tu accompany mtu watu wanana na ntwi presence ya mungu ina mtu ambaye amekaa for a long time na sasa nataka kuwapeleka mfasha in jesus mighty name Mero mtakatifu kile alisema hapa niombe makweli siki makweli ni nini na nikaenda nikaambia mama Mero mtakatifu ananiambia we pray for makweli na nikamwambia ni watu wawili hili na hili unikubushe there is something there i don't know hata sijui kitu makweli na sijui watu lakini yule mtu ambaye akaagamana na sisi na tunataka kuvuka mtu twende chereni nataka kuvuka mtu twende nanga You have to obey the baby the presence is the person who has accompanied us for a long time. Hallelujah. He went how can I be that same that Lord Jesus went in and went out among us. Mtu aliona Yesu akienda kususu. Mtu aliona Yesu akikura. Mtu aliona Yesu akilala. Mtu alikaa na Yesu siku mingi. Huyo ndiye anastahili kwa na the presence of the lord do you have this anointing ngapo inakuwa kama hii madhabahu utakaaka utakaaka unataka ku flow in the same anointing unataka ku flow in the same gift ka hapo be with us toka nasi rudi nasi fanya kazi pamoja nasi wakasema ni yule mtu ambaye amekuwa nasi verse 22 Beginning from the baptism of John. Eh? Mtu aliyo jo ana gibati dabia. Mtu ambaye aliona Yesu akibatizwa na John. Eh, sema amen. Kwa mwana ni gotire haraka. Huko hakuna haraka. Kama uko na haraka tebea. Enda ukatafute kidini. Mtu ambaye alikuwa beginning the baptism of John. Wakati Yesu aliona jiwa ikiteremka na sauti ikasema huyu ni mwanangu mpendwa mtu alikuwa hapo huyo ndio tunataka and to the day that he was received up from us of this must one come a witness with us for the resurrection mpaka ile siku alibebwa kwenda mbinguni huyo ndio tutachagua alipress Judas let me tell you mungu anatafuta watu wa kuindua katika nchi yetu Mungu anatafuta watu wa kutumia katika Kenya. Mungu anatafuta watu wa kutumika katika kazi yake. Lakini ni wale watu ambao wamekuwa wamekuwa mahali wamemgochea, wamemtumikia, hawajaondoka, walimuona akibatizwa, walimuona akisurubishwa na mpaka siku hiyo alisema go in there. Walikuwa hapo. Usio leo leo kana. So anything is not cheap. Presence ya Mungu sio chill akipatiwe watu ovyo ovyo Yesu akasema you cannot put a gold chain on a swine hauwezi weka hiyo kitu kwa kwa nini kwa nani kwa nguruwe kwa nini nguruwe hajui value yake so but may you be there to be anointed in the name of Jesus Christ may you remain there for a long time May you remain in prayer for a long time. May you wait for the Lord for a long time. I know one day you'll be anointed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And one day you have the presence wao wamekaa kwa ushirika kwa muda mrefu. So hii mambo ya kuwa on and off. On and off kwa mahama. Wewe you never be anointed and you never carry the presence. Hii mambo ya kuja sandi ile unasikia uko na pesa ni unakuja. Ile hauna unakaa bili. Kuna sadi za kanisa na sadi za group you can never carry the presence of the lord ni wale watu wanakuwa pa 
pale. Wako pale liwe liwao. Na hata hapa mahali wale watu Mungu atatumia ni wale watu wanakuwa pale kwa roho. Yesu akawaambia, "Watch and pray. You die until the morning." Ni wale watu wanaotia mpaka asubuhi. Hallelujah. Oya mabutatawe ndo akana nginya wiki ate. Hemangu tatawa ni jakana ye. Sams 100, Sams 100, Pasco. Hemangu tatawa ni dawa ya. Hemangu tatawa ni jakana ye. Jakana ye nginya goki. Inai osana. Inai osana. Osana ngoda maki. Ada maki inai osana inai osana osana muda oeta yogara ini kuva shage oeta hundred plus four oeta ya satu hundred plus four oeta yogara ini nyenda nange kuva shage gina go here. Jioni leo ukienda nyumbani usiku saa moja na nusu utoke nje uangalie zile nyoka utaona pale sijui ni gani liko nimeenda sana ni basi kwa siku hizi i don't know atuje angalia tunaendaga kuangalia i don't know whether it's been us or mass utaiona uh, sams on and bus for 100 bus for hiyo ni wangu wa So na asubuhi na mapema uamke saa 11. Uone ile uliona pale hautaikuta. Zile zinatokana mapema. Ikifika saa sita saa saba, zinatoka mbele. Lakini zile zinachelewa kutoka asubuhi zinakuanga. So the question is ni gapi mzuri ile inakujaza mapema ama inakuwa asubuhi? Where is your blessing? Ni kuwa pale mpaka asubuhi ama ni kuwa mapema. May the Lord make you to be there until the new morning of your life in Jesus mighty name. Kwa hiyo kwa ngoje kinya na usii rule yawe ndo maku. Bebe kwa ngoje na kaoko. ni ya Mungu kuingia pale aliko we go there with praise so praise of God kumwabudu worshiping God inaletaka the presence of God so kutoka leo can you be serious in your praise if you attract the presence kutoka leo can you be serious with your worship sahau watu wale wengine vile wanafanya Chama vile tabia bao wako nazo. They don't know the value of worship. They don't know the value of praise. Sasa wacha kuangalia nani anaruka. Tuliambiwa you can here to worship God. Kwa maana hakuna mtu anaweza ku worship God kwa ajili yako. It is you to worship him. Pesa unaweza kumana zitolewe. Lakini to worship God it is you. To praise God it is you. Wewe wacha kuangalia watu wengine kama wanaruka. Rukia bwana wako. Yule Mungu alikuuba. After all, kuna siku atutaruka. Nilikuwa nafikiria kwa nini watu wanaambiwa waruke wanakataa? Wengine wanaambiwa waashiku wanakataa. And the Holy Spirit was showing me a picture. Na nilikuwa na naangalia vile watu wanakusii. Ole hapo matoka ika kato mahoere ma the operation. Wengine wanasema siwezi ingia dieta kabla kapasa ukuje. Come you pray for me. Nakumbuka vile watu wanaambiwa praise the Lord. Amkeni msifu 
mwana wanajikokota but the day of operation kabla hawajaingia theater anakwambia pastor you must be here you must speak so ni nili ni nini mzuri wakati unadukaduka hapa ama wakati unajiita kule ni kuombea mimi nikapata revelation i always praise him i always worship him ina amenipatia nitaita presence yake sitaki maombi peke yake but i always praise the lord in the mighty name of jesus christ hallelujah so what i want to worship na watu wale atuko kwa praise we attract the presence father in the name of jesus we pray for this praise change our praise and our worship from today may we carry the presence of the lord in the mighty name of jesus christ whenever there is worship in this house let the holy ghost throw in this house let the presence of the lord cover this house in the time of worship i change it in the time of the presence of the lord in jesus mighty name we pray when we worship and when we praise to now enter the presence number four the same same enter his gates with that giving that giving bring the presence kushukuru bwana kunaleta uwepo wake huwezi funguliwa uingie ili uka uka worship ama uka praise you are supposed to start with that giving tushike hiyo kutoka leo the gates of god are opened by thanks giving kwa matajiri kuna kuanga na kengele pale kwa nini kwa gate pokea pokea kengele ya gate hapa wewe si unaona kwa watu wako nje unauliza mwa mmepitia wapi you should be happy hiyo kengele ndio unapinya unafunguliwa unaingia kile kitu kinatufungulia gate ya mungu kengele ya kubogoka ndio kufunguke uingie ndani it's thanksgiving so in our service we should start with what dance kili dio tufugulie tuingie ndani so that we can praise and have the presence that the whole of service from today in Jesus mighty name hiyo dio lucky bar service hapa siku ya leo tutaanza na kushukuru bwana kumwambia asante kwa wema wake because of milango ikafunguke milango yake inafunguliwa na kumuinua na kumshukuru because unaingia katika hema yake so that's give me open the gates praise make you to go into his courts ukiendelea kumsifu anakuruhusu uingie ndani so wale watu ambao hawashukuru bwana na wale watu ambao hawa praise mungu they can never enjoy the presence na because of mwanga shetani yako na yako na yako na nini yako na shida sana na praise anatokania praise na worship sana huko kwingine hana shada acha nae muhubiri unaweza uhubiriwa na anybody hata mrengi ana ubiri kwa tv wengine wakuhubiri kwa tv unaona huyu mrengi but they cannot worship and bring the presence baba siku ya leo kuna tumutu tungine tumeamka tuko na uniform na microphone wanasema ni kegosho kiburutio but that kegosho has no presence haina uwepo wa Mungu hata kidogo unasikia tu ni nyimbo tu zinalala ni nyimbo tu zinalala hakuna kitu lakini kamu ya msani wacha tuseme kigosho au kigosho 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 let me tell you huku akugariki do you know why there is a presence of god there is a presence bona asikiwe so tuingie katika hiyo anga ya ku carry the presence of god in our place in our worship and in that kingdom from today receive it in Jesus mighty name Amen. hallelujah number 4 that give it number 5 those who are prayers read the act for act for that one wale ambao wanaomba act for us that one wanakuanga na uwepo wa Bwana maombi inaalika uwepo wa Bwana katika maisha yetu and above all speak 
speaking in tongues. Bring the presence in a very mighty way. I've been practicing to speak in tongues for three hours. Kuomba three hours sina shida. But I want now, imeanza na one hour. Tongues alone. Ukiingia hapo ni gili. Mpaka umalize one hour. May that be your portion in Jesus mighty name. May that be your portion in Jesus mighty name. Unajua gili shetaka elewi. Maubi hii gili yote anasikizaka. But when it comes to tongues, the devil does not know that. Ile lugha ambayo shetani haelewi ni ile lugha ambayo ni ya malaika na ni ya bibi za binadamu which is the tongues act for that one and when they had prayed the pressure was shaken where they had assembled together and they were filled with the holy ghost and they spoke the word of god with boldness hapo walipokwisha kuomba Mungu mahali pale walipokusanyika baka tikisika wote wakajaa roho mtakatifu na wakanena neno la Mungu kwa ujasiri haleluya and when they had prayed the priest was shaken poke ya neema na kuomba mpaka mahali tikisike na angalia siku za hapa nyumbani kwetu watu waseme ni nini ilikuwa inafanyika kwa hizi biti tulikuwa tunasikia biti tulikuwa tunasikia biti zinafanya nini zinapigizwa kulikuwa na hadi quick si maombi ya kuomba na kila mtu amekuangalia paka watoto watacheka ukioba may your prayer be filled with the pressure to shake in the mighty name of Jesus Christ amen walipoomba mahali pale pakatikisika eh tunatafuta watu ambao wataomba prodi zao zitikisike tunatafuta watu wata nyumba zitikizike tunatafuta watu wataomba meza zitikizike tunatafuta watu wataomba kanisa litikizike that's the place and that's the level we want to go in the mighty name of Jesus Christ when they had prayed the place was shaken and they were filled with the holy ghost na mama wili ambayo ilifanyika wakajaso na roho mtakatifu na jambo la tatu ambao la pili lilifanyika pale mahali pakatikizika oh receive as quick in your prayer in the mighty name of Jesus Christ ukienena na ukioba mahali popote utaombea kuwe kunatingizika katika jina la Yesu Kristo walipoomba maombi hutikiza when you pray seriously and when there is presence the pressure sio kuomba na hakuna kitu kinatendeka ile maombi ambayo inakuwa na presence of god it is shapes inatingiza inatingiza kwa mwangizi inatingiza kwa shetani wakati unaamka saa 9 usiku ukioba may there be the presence of god utikize kijeleni katika jina la yesu wachawi na waganga wakitembea kule nje na wewe uwe ni wakati wako wa kutikisa mpaka wanarudi nyumbani wanajua kuna mtu anaomba may that be your portion in Jesus mighty name Amen. sio maombi ambayo haitikizi kitu maombi ambayo haichange kitu maombi ambayo haishik mapepo haishik nguvu za giza haishik magonjwa hakuna kitu inachek but from today receive the grace to shake presses through your prayer in Jesus mighty name Amen. pokea neema ya kutingiza mahari na mambo kupitia maombi yako katika jina la Yesu pokea neema ya kutikiza magonjwa kupitia maombi yako katika jina la Yesu pokea neema ya kutikiza mapepo kupitia maombi katika jina la Yesu pokea neema ya kutikiza laana unajua familia zimejaa laana na maneno ambayo inenwa kinyume na watoto wetu na watu wetu na hiyo maneno inasumbua sisi lakini kutoka sasa pokea neema ya kutikiza hiyo maneno na kuyaondoa katika jina la Yesu. Watu watakuwa wanauliza nini linafanyika? Huyu mtu akiomba jambo linafanyika. Kuna mtu alikuwa anaitwa John Knox. John Knox alikuwa mhubiri wa England. Wakati alikuwa anaomba, kila mtu alikuwa anajua John Knox yuko area. Baba Queen wa England alikuwa anamuogopa. Alikuwa anasema huyu mtu akiomba kuna kitu inatendeka. Na 
is our portion and the church. Tunastahili kutikiza ufalme wa akiza. Mpaka wanasiasa wakituona, wanasema hao watu wakiomba kuna kitu inatembeka. Oh, may God open us. Na Mungu atufukulie anga ya mogoba. Tukiomba kunajulikana kuna kitu inatembeka. Mungu atufukulie anga ya Kenya. Tukiomba kunatembeka kitu na tuna shake the nations in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Tuwe tuna shake the countries. Sio maombi bila kitu. Tumechoka maombi bila kitu. Tu kufunga tu. Lakini walipoomba mahali pakatikisika. Wakajazwa na Mungu mtakatifu. Pokea neema ya kutikiza mahali. In the mighty name of Jesus. Eh! Maombi ya kutikiza ni maombi ambayo iko na presence. May you are you are prayer carry the presence of the Lord from today. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Ya mwisho, John 8:29. Prayer. Prayer inatikiza. So kwa ukiomba John 8:29. Johanna 8:29. Hiyo kitu mmekuwa ukiomba inatikiza pole pole. Kuna siku utapata ile jibu kwa maana maombi yako imekuwa ikishika. 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 Hallelujah. And then there's something will happen. So long na kadhi wana kuoga kwa kia. John 8 please last night. 29. Those who obey have the presence of God. Those who obey. 29. Is of the one saying when you have lifted up the son of man you shall know what I am he and that I do nothing of myself but of the father taught me I speak this thing verse 29 29 sema, and he has said and he that sent me is with me you are the intuma akona nani akona me eh The father has not left me alone for I do always those things that please him. The father has not left me alone. See ya hapo na baba. Ekshoi nasema naye aliyenipeleka yuko pamoja nami hakuniacha yangu kwa sababu nafanya siku zote yale apendezaye. Wale watu wanafanya mambo ile Mungu anapenda. They have the presence. Hallelujah. Those who obey have the presence of the Lord. Kwa nini Sauli aliondolewa Mungu? Alikataa vile Mungu alimwambia. Mungu alimwambia ndio kumaliza wa Meleki akabakisha. Disobedience take away the presence of God. Those who disobey hata kama watalimei na roho mtakatifu they don't have the presence Yesu akasema yule alimituma haja niacha may you never be wrong, left alone in Jesus mighty name hii safari tukienda peke yetu ni vibaya mapepo yanatugochea nguvu za giza zinatugochea lakini akasema yule ambaye alimituma alimituma haja niacha hata mimi nashukuru bwana haja niacha hata mambo ikiwa magumu hautaachwa for i do always the things that are pleasing to him jikaa maombi mara ya mmoja mambo kenaji when you obey never leave you may lord never leave you in jesus mighty name may the lord never leave you in jesus mighty name wale wote ambao wana wana amini na wale wote ambao wana obey those people who obey the voice of god they carry the presence of god gaiyano ya rebi na kuna watu wengi wamejaa church and they are disobedient tell them to do anything they never do let me tell you mungu anakaanga ki change change mungu atebei kwa dia moja ati unatoka na robi unaenda mbasa unajua ukitoka na robi na ndege mpaka mbasa is a straight line hata faida tunaweza lala kwa sababu kutoka hapa hapa akienda huko is a straight line na ndege hazipika kikona but with our god ana require akifika mahali anakwambia turn this way unakubali au ukifika hivi anakwambia turn this way 
unakubali kwa sababu Mungu ukaa akichange we will never answer God hakuna siku tutajua Mungu anafanya hivi kwa sababu ya hii kile kitu mtasema ndio inafanya kazi hiyo anawaacha kwa nasifiwe akawaambia mtume wekeni maji choteni ikakuwa ni fire uliona kirudia tena wakati huo ni maji na change inakuwa ni fire akipita mahali kidogo kuwapatia mikate anaitisha mikate anachukua juu anafanya nini anaibariki inaongezeka lakini hakufanya mahali kingine akitaka kuponya mtu aliyekuwa amethidias alimwambia baba nipaleke kete Hakuna mtu mwingine aliambia hivyo. Akikuta yule mtu ambaye alikuwa kiwe kipofu, akampaka mate. Akamwambia enda ukaoge. Hakuna mtu mwingine aliyoweka aliambia hivyo. Akakutana na watu kumi ambao walikuwa na ukoma, akamwambia endeni. Sio watu wote aliambia waende. Makwa akakutana na mama wa Mairo wa Pita. Akamshika mkono akamwambia amka akaamka akienda kwa Lazaro aliitana akiwa nje you can never master our god vile alifanya kazi last year sio lazima afanye hivyo ndiposa unaona hapa tunataka tukibadilisha badilisha tunasema maovu ni ya mchana tukikataa tunasema ni ya usiku tunasema ni kufunga tukiona tumefanya nayo kazi Mungu ana withdraw anatokea now my presence kufunga tafuteni kitu kingine siku hizi ukitaka the presence of god panya outreach hiyo ametuambia outreach sasa sio mambo mengi so really that's the presence of god so we keep changing because god also keep changing wale watu ambao ni wale watu ambao ni rigid eh miodika watu ambao hawa change they can never carry the presence of god but as you feel sio nyimbo tatu ku ati nyimbo nyimbo tatu three zero song very quick song ati yo dio washi and praise that's not the way god is open to to we do all the things that please him last three and we pray exodus that degree 15 wale watu ambao wanakonga na uwepo wale nimesema ni wale ambao wana wanasikia vile anasema last thing those who ask exodus that they that 15 and he said that to agree if they present do not go with me can he ask not from here naye akawaambia usipuso wako usipokwenda pamoja nasi usitutukue kutoka hapa Naomba uweso wako uende na si Ewe mbamba mama bana tusikie Kama endi na si hatitaki kutoka Peke yetu enda na si tuta wa mapambo yo etu vitu vyo te vya dama ni kwetu mioyo ye tutwade
akamwambia usipoenda nasi situtoe hapo kuna kitu nimeelea watoto wangu wanapendaka sana kwenda na mimi kwa sababu especially tukiingia mahali kile wanataka kinaweza patikana na hata imefika mahali tunaongeaka kabla hatujaingia kwa hiyo unachukua nini ana unachukua nini kwa maana nimelia nikiwatuma kila mtu akachukue wanakujaga na vitu zinapigwa bei sio shida kulipa lakini zikine hata hawajui nini so wanafugua wakikura ni wanasema this is not nice kwa nini wanakuwa wanafurahia hiyo the presence of the power the presence of the power wana enjoy mambo mengine kwa kuwa baba yako na kuna tofauti ya baba yao na anko yao kuna tofauti ya baba yao na anti yao kuna tofauti ya baba yao na hata grandfather siku ile tunawaachia grandfather ile kitu wanakuja wananiambia tumefanya tumekatakatia ngombe majani na tumebeba majani ni kazi wanaonyeshwa lakini kitu ya kununuliwa igumu sana why a father presence means so many things kuwa ni baba karibu kuna maanisha mambo mengi sio kama kuwa na anti sio kama kuwa na anko sio kama kuwa na kazi it means a lot to have a father Musa akamwambia baba usipoenda nasi usitubebe kwa sababu kwenda na anti sio the same na father kwenda na anko sio the same na father wewe na damu kuliza katika maisha yako in ani mnatembeaka na yeye Rabbi uko na hiyo shida kwa sababu Mungu hayuko karibu na wewe. Have you know the father? Usitubebe kutoka hapa. Kama hawezi nasi, don't carry us from here. Wale ambao wanauliza, wanatembea na wao. Akaambia Musa, tutatembea na wewe. So those are the people who are present. Wale ambao wanahubiri salvation and Jesus. Wana kuna presence of God. Wale ambao wana washi wako na presence of god wale ambao wana shukuru wako na presence of god wale ambao wana omba wako na presence of god wale ambao wana obey wako na presence of god na finally wale ambao wana uliza they have the presence of the lord so may you have the presence of the lord in your life in jesus mighty name and the presence makes the difference to found it kuwa na uwezo wa Bwana. Palipopote hata ukisikizi wale watu ambao the presence. You can know a preacher. Mtu anahubiri na presence na mtu ambaye anahubiri na presence. Mtu ambaye anahubiri bila presence ni kucheka tu mtacheka. Mkitoka hapa hakuna kitu kingine na baba si ratura. Lakini ni kucheka tu masa Thank God for those with the presence. Hata kama watu hawatacheka, wataponya. Hata kama watu hawatacheka, uwezo wa Bwana utaguza maisha yao. That's the difference. Wacha kuja kanisa kucheka. Wacha kutafuta mahali watu wanaongea. Sikie hapo hapo na wale wengine. Kanisa ni tuwe na presence of the Lord. Ukikuja na shida zako zinayeyuka. Ukikuja na umaskini wako unatoka. Ukikuja na laana yako inatoka. Magonjo inaponywa na the presence of the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. So may we have the presence of the Lord because it is the difference. Na kile kitu ambacho kitafanya tusafari is to carry the presence of the Lord. That is your portion from today. In the name of Jesus. Uwe na huo uwepo kwa hapa nyumbani katika jina la Yesu. Amen. Uwe na huo uwepo mahali unaenda katika jina la Yesu. Ukiongea maneno yako iwe na uwepo na yawe na nguvu na iwe na mamlaka tusimame ili tuombe Rio mara mara kaka ba Dikiti 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 libiri libiri Kabi mara 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 mwambie ungetaka uwepo wako uende na wewe 
Mwambie ungetaka atadeli pamoja na wewe. Mwambie ungetaka adamane pamoja na wewe. Hii safari sio rahisi. Hii safari ni ngumu. Kuna mambo mengi. Dunia imejaa. Oh, oh, oh. Shetani amejaza uongo kila mahali. Lakini tunalikuwa yeye. Tunahitaji. Mwambie unapohitaji. Mwambie unahitaji kutembea na yeye. Unahitaji uwepo wake. Oh, unatamani yeye. Mwambie, mwambie, mwambie. Mwambie atabeba pamoja na wewe. Rekele Yesu dalabata.
examine tomorrow. We have a very big revelation about it. So come tomorrow. I'm going to bless you. Sakumi, Baga 6. God bless you.